The problem is, is it does look like a safe area on the beach to swim. Mike McGuire knows a thing or two about rip currents. As executive director of Nova Scotia's Life Saving Society, he's trying to raise public awareness about the risk of drowning. When you're swimming in the ocean, rip currents can sneak up on you. All of the water that's uh, coming onto shore uh, from waves uh, does need to return to the ocean. And so the path of least resistance, it's going to head back out into the ocean and, and that's, that's the rip current. The top ways to prevent drowning include swimming at a lifeguarded beach, never swimming alone, using a flotation device, or even wearing a life jacket. If you do get caught in a rip current, you'll need to signal for help. Your first instinct is going to be to try to swim back towards shore, uh, but the rip current can tire you out quite a bit. And so uh, the best options are either to swim parallel to the shore to try to get yourself out of the rip current, or even, uh, depending on your comfort level as a swimmer, uh, to even stay with the current uh, until it dissipates. It's going to dissipate 200 meters, 150 meters offshore. The society has been holding a swim to survive challenge that includes treading water for a minute, swimming 50 meters, and doing a forward roll into the water. During my attempt, I got caught in the current at Rainbow Haven Beach, and it was even a struggle to get on the rescue board. That's tiring. You wouldn't think, you know, you're getting rescued, you have to get on one of these boards. Yeah. Not as easy as it looks. No, definitely, yeah. <laughs> All good muscle memory to have. For the Weather Network, I'm Nathan Coleman.